Mama, I made it to Forbes. <laughs> What up guys, Williams Fitness. Listen, there's one subject I need to touch on. I'm getting a hell of a lot of racial comments in my news feeds, on my Instagram, on my YouTube videos, the comments section, my inboxes. And I need to do a video on this. I need to address it, not just for my fucking comments and everything else, but just racism in general and racism in bodybuilding. Now, obviously as a white guy, it's, it's difficult to me to um have have a an opinion in quotes but the amount of shit that I see not just on my feed but like I say in my comment section it's, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous and I'm putting this out there now the next comments from today forward I'm just gonna put you on fucking blast on my Instagram story whoever's whatever your fucking tagline is I'm sick and tired of this shit now we've touched on this many times in the past few years and since bodybuilding began this i mean personally i've not there's not been that much coverage with regards to racism in bodybuilding because i don't think it's been as prevalent as it has been in like other sports as like football and soccer and do you know what i mean where there's it's more crowd motivated racism i don't know if it's if any guys of different races have had any issues with promoters that things like that but I mean, personally, I've I've not seen that much. I've not heard that much. If obviously, if there is anything out there, I'd, I'd love to like do an interview with a, with a pro bodybuilder that's experienced these kinds of things. But when I do a a, a video on a, an African American dude or a black guy, whatever, the amount of comments I get that jump straight into my um, like to be approved section on my comment section on YouTube is ridiculous. It's all while dropping the M bomb calling people gorillas, the usual fucking crap. And I'm sick and tired of fucking seeing it. I'm sick and tired of having to go through my comments and blocking you people. Because that's what I do. I block you. I straight up block you. I don't even need to delete it because when I, when I block you, you can't comment again and you, your comment gets removed. But I just don't feel why people feel so comfortable in their own skin, on their own profiles to go, yeah, I'm going to say this racist shit on a public platform in front of thousands and millions of people. And when I say millions, I had a video up not too long ago of Blessing Our Adobe. It was on 31, 32 million views. The amount of racial fucking abuse this guy got in the comments section was fucking atrocious. I mean, it was absolutely disgusting. So where do we draw the line? You obviously, some of you obviously feel comfortable enough saying this shit. It's 2019. Get the fuck over it. Honestly. The colour of someone's skin doesn't change fuck all about anything. I, I just genuinely don't fucking understand why it's still a thing. It's fucking ridiculous. We've had Flex Lewis speak out uh, a couple of years ago with regards to the Rich Piana incident in 2017. And obviously, uh, Rich Piana had dropped the M-bomb on a video... Uh, on a phone call recording about his ex, uh, Chanel, who was seeing um, some black guy or dated or maybe slept with, whatever, if the, the relevance of it is pointless, but the fact that he kept dropping the M-bomb in a derogatory way sent shockwaves through the industry. Then we had, obviously, the Piana Mack truck incident. And since then, like in bodybuilding, there's, I, can't, I honestly can't think of any incident that's happened. I mean, there's people... Lee Priest always gets called a racist. He's not. This is the thing, he's not. He might seem like he's saying it, but he's just not politically correct. He doesn't... He'll say, that black guy, rather than, oh, that African-American guy. He doesn't, he doesn't be specific and politically correct about how he's characterising, should I say, each nationality or gender, whatever... That's just him. That's just him as a person. It doesn't mean he's fucking racist at all. At all. I'm just sick and tired of the same shit now. It's just getting a fucking joke. Honestly, getting a joke. I feel like I'm ranting now, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It's 2019. If anything, if anything, those of you who keep calling these black guys out and saying the end bomb and all the rest of it, there are more black winners than white. 
black guys are better at bodybuilding than white guys. Better genetics, better physiques, just straight facts. So on that note, guys, I mean, drop a comment below. And on that note, guys, I mean, drop a comment. What, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, do you know of any racist uh, incidents, situations? Do you know of anybody um, that's, you know, not been able to attend a show because of their race or nationality? Um, do you think it's this, this whole thing is dead in the water? Sorry, that's my little boy. <laughs> and say hello. hello. Say hi, everybody. Hello, boy. <laughs> it's YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys, on that note, I love you. I'll leave you. Peace.